being six or being sick. Dead. Fuck. <laughs> my phone is dead again. Uh, for some reason, my phone worked again. Okay. Um. I feel like I'm getting sick again. It's a waste of time! So here is how September kicks my ass. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and the... Welcome back to my channel. This is... <laughs> welcome back to my channel. What? Like... <laughs> It's gonna be a long one, I can't even get through the intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and you are watching the Indie Living Chronicles where I show you the realities of living independently, hence the name of the series. So it's inspired by all of the living alone diaries, vlogs I've been watching recently. And yeah, I thought, well, I also have some experiences of my own, so why not share it to the internet? Because it's always interesting when you're sharing it with someone. Except I don't have some, so I'm just gonna share it with everyone. <laughs> Misery loves company anyway. So. so in this vlog, it's gonna be kind of different because I'm gonna get real with you. Of how September was just, I'm not gonna say worst, but some of the most challenging months I've had this year. Hopefully that's it, okay, because I can't. I can't! <laughs> Full disclaimer, I'm gonna be mentioning Mercury Retrograde a lot in this video so if you don't like hearing that stuff or you're just not into it and you find it annoying, like feel free to just click away right now. I didn't really go into full detail of what <clears throat> Mercury Retrograde is, it's just that I've mentioned it a lot. For any of you who aren't familiar with what Mercury Retrograde is, basically during this time in astrology, like supposedly everything is in reverse. So you're more prone to encountering problems with technology, communication, and relationships. Maybe some career problems too, money issues. And I think I've experienced almost all of it. Regular retrograde happened for the whole month of September up until yesterday, October 2nd. And I made sure that Mercury retrograde is totally over. So I recorded this today, October 3rd. It's October 3rd. <laughs> On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Actually, you know what? We're off to a good start because I woke up this morning ready to get to work and then I saw that we didn't have work today. So I went back to sleep and slept in again and you can see it in this clip. I was so happy. Okay, so today is October 3rd. It's October 3rd. <laughs> it's October 3rd. Mercury retrograde is officially over and the first good thing that happened, I literally just woke up and you can see it in my face. It appears that we don't have work today. It just announced that we don't have work today so I can't sleep in again. I'm already feeling the good juju coming back. I'm so happy because I was so sleepy. I was so tired from the weekend but I kind of wanted to sleep in. It looks like it's gonna rain even. Thank you universe! because I actually put it in my notion. <laughs> okay, it all started on the first week of September when I got incredibly sick, which I mentioned a lot in my last vlog. It was horrible. I was kind of sick before I went to have that thing with my friend Fana and the others. Then when I got back home from that, going out to the city for the weekend, because I commute, like the whole ride going home, it really felt like dying. Like, like, oh my god, I need to get home because I feel like I might pass out outside. And then when I got home, I was just like dead. High fever and everything, but I still went to work that whole week. I work remotely, so it's fine. But throughout that week, I was so weak. I could barely get out of my bed. Literally bedridden. It felt like I was dying. I can't even cook a proper meal for myself. I can't stand up for so long because I felt super weak. That's probably the downside of living independently is that you literally have no one but yourself. Like that. So and then slowly I started to recover. I'm slowly getting my groove back. I, I didn't get checked if I had COVID. I just isolated myself in here, but I'm positive that that's COVID. Cool. 
that whole fiasco, slowly recovering, I'm like, okay, everything's slowly getting back to normal. My phone died on me. Well, I'm recovering, but my phone dead. My phone turned on. phone is still not working. I need a new phone. This is interesting. My phone experiences before last year, it just went blank. You know, the blank screen of death, wherein your iPhone is still alive. You push the home button, you can feel it vibrate, and you can still hear your notifications coming in, like text messages and stuff like that, but you can't see anything on your screen. So basically, it's useless. Out of nowhere, I didn't drop it, it just went blank, and I couldn't use it for a week. I tried doing, you know, the troubleshooting. Of course, I was Googling, I was YouTubing, and doing the course research and everything, blah, blah, blah. And then, it decided to work after a week. I hope this lasts. I hope this lasts. I really hope this lasts. I was like, oh, thank God, it's back. And then I was able to use it for a day, and then it went blank again. It stayed blank for two weeks. For two weeks, I didn't have a phone. During this time, I really realized how hard it is to live nowadays without a phone. It's really a necessity because I couldn't function without a phone. And I'm gonna tell you stuff I've encountered not having a phone and how it made my life super difficult. Some struggles I've encountered is number one, not knowing the date or time. I am not a big watch gal. I've relied on telling the time or the date through my just checking my phone or my laptop and I don't even have a physical calendar anymore everything is on my gadgets there were times when I was outside not having a phone I was at the mall I approached a lot of strangers just to ask the time even the barista at Starbucks I asked them I'm sorry excuse me I just have to ask what time they all just willingly told me the time. I mean, if anyone would come up to me and ask for the time, I would not be rude and be like, don't you have a phone? But most probably, they're thinking the same thing. <laughs> but I need to know the time, okay? Second, not getting OTPs. This is one of the biggest challenges of not having a phone. When you're living alone, you have to get your finances in check all the time. Like, it's just part of adulthood. I can't even do my online banking on my laptop because each time I'm gonna log in or do any transactions whatsoever, it would send an OTP to my phone. I can't! I can't check the OTP on my phone because I can't see the screen. So I was waiting on some money to come in. And for me to check that it already came in, I can't check it on my laptop because again, the OTP thing, I can't check it on my phone because it's useless. What do I have to do? I had to physically go to the nearest ATM to check my balance. Like in the olden times where we didn't have technology or whatever. <laughs> Third, when I'm outside, I feel like I don't have a sense of security. In case something happens, which is knock on wood, nothing does, like there's no way I could contact anyone because I don't have my phone. Maybe this is my fault, but I haven't really written down yet all of the important numbers, my emergency contacts on a piece of paper and bring that everywhere I go because I don't think anyone does that anymore or maybe some do but not all people I was just praying nothing happens to me while I'm outside it's not just a want anymore, it's a necessity well the want aspect is more of the type of phone that you're gonna buy but eventually, all in all, you really need to have a phone to take care of your phones <laughs> A lot. Most of them concerned online banking as I've told you. Also, there was this embarrassing situation where I was about to buy a new phone. I went to the store. I actually went to two stores. Okay, I went into the first store. Okay, I'm gonna get that one. Let's go to the counter. I'm so confident with my credit card in my hand. The person at the counter was like, can you please have your credit card? I was like, sure. Go ahead. Take my money. <laughs> and we just wiped it. It was Intuition. <laughs> it got denied. Okay, I'll just pay this off and then I'll get back. Even though it wasn't really the true date yet. And then I tried to go to another store after paying my bills. I was like, okay, I've already paid off my bill this month. This should work. It was a weekend, by the way. Also, this is the thing of not having a phone. Like, you can't just pay your bills online like a normal person would in the 21st century. 
So I went to the second store. I'm gonna buy it, so confident. Okay, here's my credit card. Credit card declined, again. <laughs> I think at this point, okay, it happening twice is very embarrassing. They were like, oh, you just paid your bill. It's not gonna clear out until two, three banking days. You just have to wait until then. They're like, okay, I'll get back after a few days. I didn't go back after a few days because first of all, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> and second of all, it's just, I just had some other issues with it, but now it's fine. Now it's fine. There was this other one as well. Like I tried to open um, an account online and in order to activate that account, you have to have an initial deposit to activate it basically. I deposited the amount, it got cancelled and it got refunded. And it would take like three to five working days for it to get back to my account. They declined my deposit because of the documents that I sent in. And I sent in my passport and they declined my passport. It was like, what? Passport is like one of the IDs that is the most acceptable one. And then I went back and forth with the customers and blah 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 and everything. So I just received the email that my account, the one that I've been trying to open, is finally they accepted the documents just because I sent a lengthy email of my complaints. I've given them everything that they needed. What else do they need from me? Why make it harder and more complicated? Like, why does it have to get to the point where I have to complain for me to get verified? Like, I don't get that. It's a waste of time! I don't understand these systems. Like, there are some systems that don't make fucking sense. I have the least patience when it comes to stuff like this. That's the most frustrating part for me is I comply, but even then, you make it fucking complicated. Is it just me? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm cursing a lot. Hey, why do you have to make things complicated? Why? The lesson here is if you want things to go your way, you have to send a lengthy complaint. I hope it's smooth sailing from here because I need this account to be open or else I won't live. <laughs> Three to five working days, I checked that account, it's still not there. I called their customer service and everything. I was like, are you sure my documents are not going to be rejected again if I deposit another initial payment this time? Because I'm scared that it's going to hold it again. No, everything looks fine here, your documents are verified and all of that, you should try again. So I was scared shitless basically because it's still Mercury retrograde and I'm so nervous that it's not gonna get through and it's gonna get refunded again. Thankfully this time it went through and also I was looking at the wrong account. It was in my bank account for a few days already and it didn't check. <sighs> okay, another obstacle conquered. So I think we're good. <laughs> when you think it wouldn't go wrong, it just gets worse. I lost September. I feel like I'm getting sick again. Why? I feel that sensation when you're about to get sick. So low energy. I feel like your skin is so sensitive. I'm already taking meds. And I already drank Halloween C juice. And I drank tea. I don't want to get sick again. Like, what the fuck? This is the second time this month. The ironic thing is, this year was like my peak of health, I think because I really ate healthy and I work out and it's like I'm getting more sick <laughs> Mercury retrograde is really kicking my ass everything that's happened to me this month is like what the fuck <laughs> next week I have to go out I cannot afford to be sick again because I need to go out this is what happens when I'm not going out I get sick which is weird because the whole month of September, I would just go out to do errands. Like most of the time, I was just in my apartment. September was the most eventful yet uneventful time of the year for me. Compared to the previous months, I was really out and about and everything. And I never got sick. Not once did I get sick. But the one month that I decide to get into hermit mode, that's when I get sick. That's when I catch COVID. <laughs> what? I think my vitamins is basically just going out. I'm just really not the home body type. I'm really meant to be out there in the world experiencing what life has to offer. Relationship wise, um, let's just say I may have made a couple of wrong decisions voluntarily because I was like, 
Okay, fuck it. It's Mercury retrograde anyway. Let's just go all out. <laughs> a light at the end of this tunnel because I ended the month on a great note with some of my friends we went to our go-to bar and I really had a great time with them it was nice seeing all of them after I haven't seen them in months already in a couple of months I think yeah, it was just really great hanging out with them. It's always great hanging out with them. I really needed that. Like, I really needed that weekend. Because now, I feel better than ever. It's like, that magically healed me. I just needed to really hang out with people. So, I really am an extrovert. I get my energy outside. Need to be inside for a few moments to recharge. But otherwise, I really thrive on the outside world. I'm glad that is all over. I'm just really looking forward to what these next few months of the year has in store. 2022 is coming to an end soon, like we only have a couple of months. That's crazy! I am just still so excited about what's gonna happen in the next few months. I know for certain there's some stuff that I'm gonna do, but the rest, I don't know man. Life comes in waves. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, which is a mixture of chatting and some clips here and there. If you want to see more of this, subscribe now, like this video, so that YouTube can recommend this to other viewers who like the same stuff. I guess that is it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!